Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of cancer for the month of February. I'm going to use my Game of Thrones again this month. I really like this deck and let one card fall out from Dorian Virtue's Romance Angels. The way I do my readings is I shuffle till one card falls out. Those are called clarity cards and jumpers. If more than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck and I reshuffle until one card falls out at a time. I am what's called a clairsentient. So when I do a reading, it's based on emotions and feelings. I like to think I'm like the, the relationship expert. Okay, so I do my readings. I pick up other people's emotions, other people's energy. So if you want to know if you and your boyfriend or girlfriend are going to get back together, I can feel what that person is feeling. Okay, um, and with that, I can feel past, present, and future. Okay, now, I don't know if I'm going to continue with my monthlies. Not a lot of people are watching them anymore. Back in the day when I first started this channel, I was getting 6,000 views per month per video. Now I'm getting 250 to 300. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I don't know if people are interested in them anymore. So if you want me to continue doing the monthlies, put a note down underneath and I'll see at the end of the month how it goes. It takes a lot of time and energy to do these readings and if nobody's watching them, and I'm not saying that the 250 people are nobody, but um, if people aren't interested in really watching them, I'm not going to put them out anymore because like I work full time and then I do this in the evenings and I do personal readings and I'm trying to squeeze everything in and some months is tough. Okay, so, okay, all right, I smudged the cards, they're fresh and ready to go. I'm going to use a new spread, it's called the Ultimate Love Tarot Spread. I'm going to look to the side a lot because I need to see the placements of the cards. So I'm going to give it a good shuffle. The message is for Cancer for the month of February. 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 All right, Cancer for the month of February. What are the messages? for Cancer for the month of February. February. Cancer for the month of February. Cancer for the month of February. And I would like, I, I think when it comes to doing my uh, re relationship readings, I'm about 90% accurate when it comes to that. Okay, what are the messages for the month of February for Cancer? Cancer for the month of February. Remember, these energies are just for the month, okay? They're not forever, they're just for the month. All right, so this month, there's a lot of same cards coming up. All right, so this card comes up in the forces that are between the two of you, good or bad, and it's the chariot, okay? So the chariot talks about... All right, the chariot reveals a major departure. You make a determined move forward, either physically through travel or moving home, or progressing in your work and creative ventures. The card often comes up to show an opportunity to bring financial reward or other marks of success. Relationships progress. You commit or journey on alone. 
It determined to follow your calling. This is about progress, victory, determination, master, control, mastery, control, energy, and journey. So the forces here would be there's determination and there's progress this month between you and the other person. And um, control. It's victory. Okay, so there's victory here for the month of February. All right, so this card represents what you need out of the relationship and you can see this person is working. The Eight of Coins, this is about work. You need to see the other person working. You need that. You need, you need to see the other person working on this relationship too. That's what you need. All right, now we have what they, what, okay, what, what you want, okay, not need, what you want out of the relationship is um, work. Seeing that this person is working, okay? Now, we have the Eight of Swords, what they want out of the relationship, okay? The Eight of Swords is about um, self-imposed restrictions, it's isolation, it's imprisonment, um, what they want out of the relationship is perhaps to get out of that. This is self-imposed restrictions. They need or they want to get out of these um, thoughts that sometimes are keeping them imprisoned. You know, um, it's these certain, these thoughts that you have that you can't get out of. This card is about self-imposed restrictions. It's about a way of thinking. They want, okay, they, um, what they want out of this relationship is to get out of this way of thinking. They're tired of um, uh, maybe self-sabotaging self self -sabotaging thoughts. Okay? All right. You want out of the relationship more work. All right? They want out of the relationship. There's two eights here. See that? Eight of coins, eight of swords. So they want to get out of this way of thinking. They know the way they're thinking. All right, they want to get out of it. Okay, now what you need out of the relationship is someone who is stable. All right, so the queen of coins is a resourceful woman who's got domestic skills, uh, who's very resourceful. Um, queen of coins... Talks about uh, affection, love, fertility, abundance. All right. What they need, what you need is this. Okay. That affection, love, abundance. This is what you need. All right. Okay. What they need is the nine of spears. And the nine of spears is about persisting forward. All right. Persisting forward forward. Pushing the boundaries. Usually the Nine of Spears, Spears shows somebody who's fairly beat up, but they're still moving forward. This card is saying they need um, to keep moving forward and pushing the boundaries. All right? It doesn't matter how hard it is. That's what they need to keep moving forward. Okay, how you see them. There's the Page of Swords. Now, the Page of Swords, sorry, Page of Spears. All right, so the Page of Spears, um, how you see them, this could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, male or female, because it is a general reading. This card says, good news, creativity, friendship. So how you see them, creative, all right, that there's friendship here with them. Uh, this page is an individual, male or female, who is all enthusiastic and talkative. Apply to a situation, the card means good news and often shows a young situation. So they, so you see them as being, being enthusiastic, talkative, great friendship. Okay? How they see you, here's the temperance card. They see you like um, you have self-control and moderation here. Okay? And this card also talks about there could be harmony between the two of you. This is how they see it. Okay? All right. Now, let's let one card fall out from Dorian Virtue's Romance Angels. 
What are the messages for Cancer for the month of February? What are the messages for Cancer for the month of February? What are the messages for Cancer for the month of February? All right, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. All right, this could be the one. All right, you're wanting, okay? You, um, what you want out of the relationship is that hard work, someone who's working with you, okay? All right, so there you go. That's your reading for uh, February for all of you Cancers out there. Um, again, if you'd like to get a private reading, please email me and I will get back to you as soon as possible. All right, I hope you have a great month of February. All right, bye-bye.